Hey, I'm Taylor Whitley. I teach fifth grade at Indian Ridge Elementary School, and this is my third year doing this project. Um, I got really passionate about this idea of collaborative mapping on Google Maps, and so I came up with this project during our um, explore, exploration unit, and so the kids did research using Google Classroom on a template that I had created about one particular explorer, and then I had them track all of that information and put it into a Google map that all the students were collaborating on, which was really cool because kids could learn about other explorers um, from the information that other kids were putting on there. So it was all one map that we were working off of. So um, again, they started researching their explorer and then I had on the map, I created three different layers. First was Explorer Background, second was the route the Explorer took, and third was the discoveries that the Explorer made. And so as kids did their research, they would then put that into the map. So for example, they would plot a point for the first layer in Explorer Background where their Explorer was born. And then they could put all of their information, for example, the occupation that the Explorer had, what their family and education looked like, and they put pictures and that information above that point. And then they would transfer out of that layer and go to the second layer, which was um, Explorer Route, and they were actually able to physically draw the route that the Explorer took, or multiple routes depending on their Explorer. And then finally, the third layer being they dropped points at where their um, Explorer what areas of the world the explorer discovered. And my favorite part about this project is that they're all working off of the same map, but that also this just reinforces geography, that the majority of explorers um, that discovered <laughs> the new world came from Europe, and I wanted them to see that trend. And I also wanted them to see that based on where the explorer was from, that truly made a geographical impact on the place where they explored. So. Um, Christopher Columbus explored for Spain and because of that the places that he landed those countries today now speak Spanish so it was really important for me for that the kids saw that geography was impacted or geography and the culture and the society of these places was impacted based on where the explorers came from and so this project helped them visually see all these explorers were crossing the Atlantic Ocean and to just really get a visual idea of um, the different trends of this time. Well, I learned a lot about all the explorers because this is a way to show the routes of their exploration, the destination of their exploration, what they explored which was helpful to me. And so I learned a lot about different explorers and the routes they took, why they went there, when they died, how they died. And I thought it was really neat that you could add a bunch of pictures like this. What I about Google Maps is that you can have different layers and it won't get confusing and it will be more organized. It, um, it was fun to like place the mokus where everything was and then read about it and it was fun to learn so much about this one explorer antenna instead of you know writing a big thing on like all of the explorers you are having fun while you're doing it which makes you kind of remember it not um not just being like okay page five my favorite part was I got to see everybody else's thinking, not just my own for once. Um, how we got to like choose the route and the color and the icon for the points because then it's not so same as everybody else's and it's different. My favorite part of this project was probably the research. I love to research things and it made it really easy to research things on here and to add them in because you don't have to put certain things in and it's easier because it breaks it down with backgrounds and I just really liked it. It was really fun.